this is a resistor but this is also a resistor and technically these two are also resistors and people would tell you these are not but if you want to be pedantic then yes this could be resistors so what is a resistor then well if you resist the urge to google it we will find out together get it Re -re resist resistor <laughs> A resistor is a passive electrical component that implements electrical resistance as a circuit element. In electronic circuit resistors are used to... Re what? What did I tell you about googling stuff? Let me see what I can do with this. Well, if a resistor is a component of a circuit, to understand them we need to take a step back and understand first the entire circuit. A circuit is a bunch of electrical stuff connected together in a loop. A current of electrons flows through the circuit and this is what we call electricity. Exactly how these electrons move is something we will explore in a future video, so if you don't want to miss it, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. For now, we have a battery that creates a voltage difference and that voltage difference in turn creates a current that turns on the light. So we know that voltage creates current but let's look a bit closer at that relationship. If we measure the voltage and current going through an electrical component, we will see that as we increase the voltage, we also get more current. This increase is proportional with a constant factor, and this factor in our case is 10. The same principle holds true in reality. So if we change this puny battery for a bigger one, we are creating a bigger voltage difference, so we have more current, so the light shines brighter. You might have noticed that we have a knob in the middle of the circuit, and watch what happens when we turn it. The light gets dimmer, but the voltage hasn't changed. We still have the same battery. What has changed is the proportionality factor between current and voltage. When we turn this knob, we are changing that proportionality factor because this is a potentiometer or a variable resistor. As we twist it, it changes how much it resists the flow of electricity. And that's the job of all resistors, to resist the flow of electricity, to limit and lower the current going through a circuit so as to protect all the components. The reason this can happen is called Ohm's law in honor of Georg Ohm, who was the first guy to describe it. In its simplest form, it relates voltage, current and resistance using this very simple formula. This guy is also the reason why the units for measuring electrical resistance are called Ohm. Okay, enough. So a resistor is just a component of a circuit that's there to reduce the current. Exactly. Wait, but you said that a cable is a resistor and the purpose of a cable is to conduct the electricity. So it's not a resistor, it's a conductor. Well, listen, yes, copper inside the cables is a conductor, but there's no such thing as a perfect conductor. Have you noticed that the cables have a maximum current rating? That's because even copper, which is one of the best conductors we know of, still resists the flow of electricity to some extent. So we talk about cables as conductors, but if you want to be technical about it, they can be considered resistors. Fine. So can I tell them to like the video and comment below with their favorite resistors? And I will force them to watch your video on freefall. No, we don't force people here. Resistance is futile. <laughs>